Hi YouTube, it's me Chaz, and this week we're going to be talking about how I adopted Clark. He was right back there. Hey Clark. <laughs> All that when we come right back. So we're going to be talking about how I got my boo Clark. And uh, a lot of people don't know this who follow my Instagram, but I actually kind of own a dog walking, dog training, pet sitting company and came to New York to start that. Before that, I was actually a marine mammal trainer at SeaWorld. And so I've been around animals and been a trainer all my whole life. I've had dogs my whole life and I've always loved huskies and wanted a husky of my own. And the first time around, it didn't go so well because I was moving out on my own at 17 and uh, it just couldn't work. So finally, time went on, we started the business. I was working with dogs a lot. Before that at SeaWorld, I was working with sea lions a lot and it was kind of like having a dog. So I really never had actual time to devote to my own dog. Finally around 2016, I had the time open up and I knew I wanted to adopt. So I've been searching the internet, looking here in New York, we have petfinder.com and it searches all of these different shelters and shows you different huskies. So I was looking for different huskies and uh, finally found this one that I fell in love with over the internet. They came out to my apartment, they looked it over. My roommate at the time was also looking at getting a dog and um, so we were both open to bringing two dogs home. The lady came out, she found out I was a dog trainer and was like, yes, this dog will be perfect for you, which should have been a red flag, but it wasn't because I thought, I'm a trainer, I'm up for a challenge. So we drive all the way out to New Jersey, we meet who then was named Duncan, and he was a holy terror. I mean, he had warts on his tongue, He was some of his hair was missing in the back, he was jumping up on us, biting us like crazy. I mean, we just complete heathen, and his story was really sad too. He was originally an Amish puppy mill dog from the Amish mill puppy dog. He went and was sold to a pet store. Somebody bought him at the pet store, couldn't handle him as a baby, took him to a shelter that was a kill shelter. And comes this lady that we were adopting him from who goes and rescues huskies from other shelters. So she rescues him from here, eventually adopts him out to another family who has a child. He one point comes and grabs a sandwich out of the little girl's hand and then uh, basically the parents were kind of like, that's too much, he's too big for that. So they brought him back to Husky House and this is now when I come. So he, he's about a year and a half years old is roughly at this point in time and had no obedience training, nothing. And Huskies are very smart and definitely need obedience training very early on as a puppy. And he hadn't had any. So I, of course, seeing that he's a heathen, I couldn't be like, no, I'm gonna leave. I knew that he needed me and I was gonna be able to help him. But I wanted to make sure that he could play with other dogs too because my roommate wanted to get a dog. So we asked them that, they bring out another dog, they play so well together. His name at the time was Balto. My roommate fell in love with him. And then we left with two dogs who we eventually named Clark and Marvel. And now Clark and Marvel are still buddies and get to live together and play together and have totally different lives. Marvel story, he was found wandering the streets of the Bronx through Instagram, amazingly. We end up finding his sister a year later. They look identical and they got to play together. It wasn't like this crazy reunion because I'm pretty sure they got separated very early on. But they did get to meet, which was super cool and all thanks to Instagram. Shout out on Instagram, you can follow both of their Instagrams over here somewhere. Follow my Instagram anytime. That's the story of how I found Clark. Clark and Marvel have come so far since when we first got them. They're way more obedient now. They are, every time they get in the elevator with people, they love them, they say how great they are, and they've adjusted to their New York City lifestyle pretty well. Uh, cute pictures of dogs, cute pictures of dogs, da da da. Don't forget to subscribe, like the button, don't like the button. I guess I should say click the like button or don't click the like button. Comment, don't comment. You do you, I'll do me. Don't forget, go out and make the world an amazing place. You have the power to do so. All my love, bye.